Hello YouTube fam, how y'all doing? It's your Uncle Tim. How you doing, Timsters? This is Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews, the channel where I do a hell of a lot of ranting and a hell of a lot of reviewing. Fam, first of all, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the love and the support. Thank you for all the positive energy. Thank you for coming here and understanding this is just not a channel. This is a community, a community of collectors talking, venting, ranting about everything dealing with collecting. Fam, first of all, I'm back on U.S. soil now. I made it back Friday. We on Saturday right now. So um, overseas, they called us spoiled as hell. Spoiled Americans. That's true. I agree with that. We spoiled as hell. I listen to rants overseas about toys. Do you understand that? When you think people can't talk English, motherfucker show fool you with the English. You know, just boom, 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 whoop, whooped it out on me. I'm like, dude, you speaking English. What the hell just happened here? I'm in a toy store. He talking about blues. I'm talking about real toy blues. I'm hearing collectors in a store talking about what we got over here and what they don't have over there. Fam, you know what? I realized, shit, we are spoiled. I realized that we complain about every damn thing, and I'm one of the biggest complainers. Look, look, look. You see me right here. You see my big ass right here. I complain. I'm not going to sit here and tell you I don't. Because, hell, when I came back to the U.S., the first thing I did was hit a couple of targets up with my wife and kids. Fam, went in there, wasn't shit to be found. I talked to one of my brothers that was on the page, and he was telling me, you know, you go here, you can find some stuff over here. So we was over in that area, so we checked it out, fam. It was dry as hell. You know, mind you, he told me a couple of days ago, and a couple of days in Toy World means like, damn near two years ago. I'm serious. You know what? That's a hit or miss, because if you don't do it right then and there, you may miss out. And, you know, I, I don't believe he was capping. I just believe that hell. You know, maybe they put some stock out and shit. <laughs> it went the way of the dinosaur real quick. It went extinct. Fam, and talking to my brothers and sisters overseas, listening to them talk, talking is just Hot Wheel cars and Legos. And, you know, <laughs> bad fam, I'm not kidding you not. It's just Hot Wheels and Legos. I said, well, all the damn action figures. Fam, you don't want no action figures. I was like, they didn't say fam, but they were saying something else. They was like, look, you don't want no action figures. I said, I collect action figures. They said, man, the price of a damn action figure in Zwate or Euros, bro, you go broke over here trying to buy this shit. Just imagine the Hot Wheel cards are 13 damn Zwate. Some of them are 8 Zwate. So the conversion rate for US dollar at the time that I was there was what, 4.7 4 Zwate for every dollar? So just imagine, you do the math on that 13 Zwate, and if you put four into that, <laughs> you see how much you paying for this shit. You know, man, people are not thinking, you know, that here in this country, we get a lot of stuff in the U.S. And as I was talking to them over there, they were telling me that, hell, even if the toy store sell it, they got to get something out of it, too. And, you know, when I stopped and thought about it, they, they like, these are independent toy stores. But you think they can't just sell it for $24.99? Damn it, look, they had to pay custom fees for this stuff. They had to pay for the taxes, the, you know, the shipping and every damn thing else. You know what? They going to charge you. And I understood that. Fam, I understood. You know, that's the thing that, you know, a lot of people don't see. They say that everybody overseas gets shit first. But how much are they paying for it? See, that's the thing that we're not looking at. We just look at, you know, they got uh, Outback and, you know, uh, the Crimson Guard and, you know, uh, Python Patrol in uh, Canada and Toys Us. Nobody told you how much that shit is, did they? They never told you that the Python Patrol in Canada is damn near 36 Canadian dollars, close to 40. So I'm sitting here thinking to myself, because when I was there, shit, Ghostbusters was damn near $32.99, and that's in ca Canadian money. And I'm like, wait, hold on. I understand the conversion rate, you know, because Canadian money is not that much to the U.S. dollar for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how that shit work anymore. Uh, but the thing that got me, fam, that I was sitting here looking at is that we don't understand that when you see stuff in other countries, it's expensive as hell. Just imagine the Lego sets that I end up buying here. They would have cost around 30 or 40 But see, in 
the native country that I was in, the prices in their money were extremely rough. They were high as hell. Fam, nobody thinking. See, we not thinking about the other people or what they paying for. We just thinking they got it first. But we don't know how much they pay. And this is why shit sits there where they at. Because it's too damn expensive. This is why people order shit from the U.S. eBay, Amazon, uh, whatnot. Anywhere where you can see people can pick up shit, they picking it up. They looking at the left shit like, you know, you let that go over there. This 4F sh hat I got on, you know how much this motherfucker costs? See, this is why I'm not talking shit. Because everything is expensive as hell. And, you know, don't get me wrong. You know, there's a lot of value in these countries. You know, these countries are very expensive to stay in. They're not like what you think it is. They have cars over there that we do not have here. You know, Renault, um, Peugeot, uh, shit, uh, what is that, uh, um, Sat, or Sad, one of them things. Man, shit, I was just looking, one of the cars, one of the SUVs was called Captor. And man, you look at this damn thing, man, it was a luxury SUV. You was like, damn. Man, I was looking at all these houses, you know, with all these security shutters. It looked like something from the purge. You got uh, big fences and, you know, you are monitored and everything. You're on security. Man these, man, these people are living good. I'm not going to say everybody. People are living good. You know, people are, you know, the gas over there is a killer. It's in liters. In Poland, it is. Um, in Germany, I really didn't take a look because we was with other people in Germany. But in Poland, driving around, fam, because I couldn't drive because I don't understand Polish. My wife did the drive. And uh, just to sit there and look at it, fam, and just to understand some shit, it's crazy as hell. It's in liters. Um, gas was like seven, seven zwate a liter. And I'm like, damn, that's high as hell. To fill up the tank was damn near, wait, it was close to $400. I was like, wait, hold on. This is why overseas they drive smaller cars. You ever wondered that? You know, cars with like um, two, uh, two point engines and all that, those little small cars because they don't take a lot of gas. Over here, we buy big ass everything. And we paying at the wazoo for it. You know what? You know what? A lot of collectors over there said they don't feel sorry for us over there. They don't. They said, look, you know, at least y'all got stores y'all can go into and buy toys from. You know, that actually have new merchandise. If the stores over there don't sell the merchandise, they stay on the peg until they sell. That's real talk, fam. That's real every damn thing. That's one thing that I learned, fam. You know what? We complain about a lot of damn stuff in this country because we're used to complaining. We're used to understanding we can get our way. But you know what? We used to having it good here. You know, in the 80s and 90s, shit was abundant. You had toy stores. You know, they got rid of the toy stores because, you know, they took kids away from toys because they wanted to make them little mindless robots. Now that they got little mindless robots, they're upset because they're acting all crazy as hell. Yeah, you took every damn thing from them. You took the opportunity to be kids away from them. You made them many adults. Now you don't like what you see and you blaming them now. That's fucked up. It's real language. It's real life. And, you know, all this woke movement shit, they need to stop. It's too much. You know, I was talking to somebody about that. They said that woke shit need to stop. You know, I thought I was the only one. I said, this really does need to stop. I said, everybody a little too sensitive right now. I could deal with it. I could deal with all this and that. But sometimes, you know, you, shit. You tell somebody, shut the fuck up, they feeling some kind of way. It's like you punched them in the face or something. You talk shit and I just told you, shut the fuck up. Excuse the language, but why are you hurt now? You've been sitting here talking crap for 30 minutes. Use your words. I did use my words. You see, you shut up. <laughs> Man, man, please.
you know, they were telling me, you know, we could take you to other toy places, you know, man, to really show you around. But they said, fam, it's pretty much what we told you it was. It's dry as hell over here for what you looking for. You know, and I kept asking, I said, what that mean? They said, hell, if you're looking for Legos and Hot Wheel cars, Barago and Maestro cars, we could get you a hell of a lot of those. Or Barbie, we could get you a hell of a lot of that. But anything else you're looking for, you won't find. And if you do find it, you're going to pay up the ass for it because it's expensive. This is why you don't find a lot of this stuff overseas because of the prices. And we, we complain about prices all the time because, see, here we got things called clearance. We got things called yellow tags. We got things called red tags. Clearance this shit out. That's what we used to. Over there, they like, man, get your ass out of here. This stuff sit on the shelf for years. Hell, if they take it to the back, it comes right back out later. New and improved or something. <laughs> Fab, but with that, look, I'm back on U.S. soil. We going to rent our ass off. But to later, fam, peace out.